My name is Lena Galparina. I'm the Visitor Experience Director at Art Tech House. Art Tech House is an innovative art space dedicated to showcasing artists who use technology to create. And what we want to be is a space where artists can explore and our visitors can get to know this new medium. What the artists of the 21st century are doing is they're using the tools at their disposal. So um, Adrian and Claire are the artists that at this time we're sharing with our audience. In this case, you know, the artists are using projections as a source of light as well as, you know, actual physical frames and the hardware like computers. They're using 3D cameras to be able to see where a person is and capture their movement. And they're using their own software that they're created. XYZT Abstract Landscapes takes root in nature. The artists spend almost two years just outside and observing how uh, living things move, what the tree looks like in sunlight as the wind blows through the leaves, uh, what it looks like when birds fly together in the sky and how it almost seems impossible that they're not crashing into each other but they're moving in this beautiful pattern. They're able to give their digital work such a living quality where these pieces feel like they're living, they're breathing and the movement is very natural. You know, the artist created an environment that has an invitation. It's inviting everyone to come in and bring the themselves, to bring their interests, to bring their experiences and their own creativity. Sometimes you almost feel like you're experiencing senses that you're not experiencing. So because it's so organic and it makes you feel like you're almost like in a living environment like a forest or some people say they feel like they're submerged underwater. Through your memory it might make you remember smells of that environment or it, you know, even if you're not touching something it might feel like it's like a delicate thing and it um, gives you that sensation and I think it's uh, the combination of visual and auditory um, stimuli really can create an experience that's very immersive. So we're standing in front of Shifting Clouds and it's an experience that takes shape of your body. So this installation actually also follows you. The movement that you see in the piece is actually inspired by the movement of um, bees or birds as they all fly together in unison. We're standing in abstract landscapes. The artist wanted to give people a small performance where your body and your presence awakens the art around you. And right now, we're actually transitioning from the first sequence, which as you saw was letters. Um, it has a bit more of a sensory environment experience as they move around you, uh, to one of the interactive sequences, which I have uh, named the fireflies. Um, but in this part, as these little dots come up, uh, your presence will be able to move them and affect them. And this, this element of how your body uh, is able to express emotion and ideas through motion. So when I step closer to the piece, I'm able to control the installation and the environment around me. And it's something that depending if you make a bigger motion or if you kind of have a more tentative motion, you're able to really control the overall installation and be playful with it. Each of these pieces can be experienced one-on-one -on -one, where you have a very direct contact with it because the, you're essentially, through the sensor, the piece is observing you. Um, typically, you know, in this space, up to three other people could join us and then it plays a little bit differently because then the installation sees three different, essentially, human bodies in the space. When I walk into this field of vectors, immediately my presence changes its state of being. So I think that's something to keep in mind in terms of our, as human beings, we interact with our environment, whether it's the natural environment or our social environment. Um, but you know, every action has a reaction, has an effect. There are also two pieces that also use touch, in which case it's a very tactile sensation versus taking a step back and moving with your body. The letter tree is the one piece in this entire exhibition that does not have sensors, so in effect it can't see you, but I think that doesn't take anything away from its impact. It's actually a beautiful piece to contemplate and spend time with uh, and just can be very meditative and it's a tree that is, you know, it, it comes to be, it writes a poem in 
the wind and then it goes away. It's constantly creating and it's outputting this creative energy into the world and it's something beautiful to behold and a, to me as you know, somebody who tries to paint more is a nice reminder that just keep creating, keep doing and something beautiful will come out of it. It was a period of months and then years where Adrian was actually working and developing the software, of course testing, even coming up you know, with things like the physical structure of the pieces and how do you create this experience, what is the scale that you do it on. All of these things were taken into consideration and took them years to make. And then the beautiful thing about working with technology, you know, if you do a painting, for example, you've finished the painting and it's done. So even as it's being shown in different locations, it's still the same piece, it's just being moved. With technology, what artists do, and Adrian and Claire are part of that, is with each experience, as more and more people interact with it, they're able to tweak it. They're able to learn from the interactions. They're able to enhance it. It's beautiful to have somebody who's you know five years old and has always lived in a world of digital technology be in the space with their grandparents who grew up in, you know, with a lack of digital technology in their everyday life, but still see them be playful together and experience an environment together. And I think that's the beauty of the direction in which art is heading and this new medium is really empowering artists to go is to create an experience that's not passive but very active where people can really engage with it and bring themselves and what they put into it really magnifies what they get out of it.